So once you completed tutorial one from our uh, SOLIDWORKS Power Guide Chapter 2 um, and the other drawings, we can see uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a drawing for this part and then you're going to want to upload it to your OneNote. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a drawing from the part. So I went into this little arrow over here opens file, file, make drawing from part and then uh, we want this you can click off this or click on a standard sheets so you want this first one a ANSI landscape and then click OK and now you'll see all of all of our images different angles of this so you can have isometric, uh, diametric, and you pick whatever one you think is nice. This uh, trimetric looks pretty good. O also, current, whatever you have it in on your SolidWorks will look like this. So here is our part, and you're going to hit the green arrow, OK, and then you're going to go to annotation, which means you want to write on it, and then a note. All right, so there's Mr. Noon. All right, we can change the font size. All right, if you want to highlight this, you can you can pull it out, make this box larger in this area, pull it down better. You can highlight this, and then if you want to change the font line, size, make it a larger font. If you want to change the type of font, you can make it any kind of font you want. Okay, you can have it bold. So you do all this stuff. Once you figure out what you want with your name there, you put, you click on the green check mark. And now we're going to file save this. File save. All right. So uh, this is what I called it, Tutor One. It's going to be right there where my drawing was to begin with. So I hit save. And then we go file, print. We want to print OneNote for Windows 10. And then we hit OK. And what that's going to do is that's going to open our OneNote. And you're going to want to look for uh, the class DDP or POE, whatever class we have. And you're going to click on that to select the handouts and hit OK. And then it automatically was, was uh, put in there. So there's a glitch here. So it'll, it should automatically, unless there's a glitch like this, I put it in my period two robotics. So I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to come to uh, my period 3 DDP, and I'm going to paste that into a folder I want. And there it is. I'm going to call this uh, Chapter 2, Tutor 1. Space there. And then I can capitalize this. You can change all that stuff. So that you see, uh, here it is right here. So now I'm going to do that with all my drawings. So there's four parts that I created. So now I'm going to make a drawing for each of those parts. So file, make drawing from part. Uh, pick A, A-N-S-I, landscape. OK. And then decide which one I want. I'm going to take my current one and place it in there. And then I go under, here's a green check mark. Annotation, a note. I'm going to type my name. If I want to change anything, I can. I'll just leave it how it is. Green check mark. File, save. OK. That's saving the drawing. File, print. Uh, a one note for Windows 10. OK. This is blinking, so I click on it. Once again, I want the class. I want to make sure I got the class and I want to get um, the folder handouts quarter one for the quarter one. Hit OK. And once again I put it in my robotics so I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to go to the class that I wanted in. And paste. And now I'm going to put chapter two Tutor 2. So I got Tutor 1 here. I got Tutor 2 there. And then last part is 
these two test drives. So you should have made this one. You should have made that one. So let's go. Here's this one. I'm going to do file, make drawing from part. Yes, OK. Uh, use my current view because I like it. And then you could you can move it around if you want to move it around somewhere. You're going to learn more about drawings later. Uh, green check mark, A note, type your name. Hit OK with a check mark. File, save as, save. All right, two to three, that's what I want it to be called. Now I go file, print. Okay. All right, so once again, I'm going to pick this. Let's see if I can do something different here. All right, so this is the same thing, but I went through, went through all of this extended version. Let's see what happens. Once again, I got a little glitch on my OneNote, so it always puts it in period two robotics. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to the correct class folder, paste. All right, we'll call this chapter two, two to three. And the last one. Oh boy, this keeps going. There we go, last one here. All right, so I'm gonna file, make drawing from part, pick the first one, hit OK, drag over the one I want, which I'm gonna use a current view. You can use whatever you want. Uh, a note, type my name, green check mark, file, save. Okay. File print. OneNote Windows 10. All right, doesn't make a difference what I pick because it's going to glitch out and put this in our robotics. So now I'm going to come back to period 3. I'm going to paste this. Change it to chapter 2. Tutor 4. All right, now I have all four parts uploaded. I come in here, and the last thing I have to do for this assignment to be completed is just answer these eight questions, and then the assignment is completed. So go ahead and do that. Turn in your, your four drawings and answer these eight questions, and then that means you completed your work for Chapter 2 SolidWorks Power Guide.